everyone, how are you all? Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, and today I will be reacting to Catherine McPhee singing She Used To Be Mine from Waitress. I've seen Waitress on both Broadway and the West End, and it's such a great musical because it has so many emotional songs and emotional scenes filled with laughter, filled with a lot of drama and it's just such a beautiful story. Catherine McPhee has played Jenna on both Broadway and The West End. I missed her on both occasions <laughs> but as always I'm super excited to see her version now. She Used To Be Mine is arguably one of the best songs, musical theatre songs ever written. Sarah Bareilles, obviously writer of Waitress, is fantastic. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get to the reaction and analysis. Not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me that these shoes and this apron that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them oh, it's so beautiful <laughs> We are instantly brought to a more speech-like, conversational start to the song. It's right down, it hits quite low notes as well in our uh, in our range. So we really want to make sure that we're not adding too much weight down there to hit those low notes. Even though they just kind of hit there and come back in a more comfortable area in our range, we shouldn't ever push for those low notes to come out. Just let that naturally float down there really relying on that speech-like quality. We also, on some words, not all of the words, have a breathier uh, quality, a breathier onset. Completely fine. We are just kind of playing with the vulnerability, the tone, and it's not all the time. So we know that that connection of the vocal folds is there. It's just every so often we have that little uh, southern twang to it as well, because that's where it's kind of set, isn't it? It's not easy to know. I'm not anything on that I'm not like I used to be Although it's true I was never Tension sweet center I still remember that girl Nice, so on that sweet we kind of went a little bit falsetto-esque because that breath was involved and we kind of had a little bit of a flip Let's go back to that Although it's true I was never Tension, sweet center. Yeah, we kind of sweet center and coming back down. Everything's very, very forward. The mouth is opening lovely, allowing that voice to come out naturally and have that freedom, but everything's quite forward placed. Very musical theater. We are also really living in this storytelling land, which is obviously a huge uh, thing in musical theater and I'm loving it. We aren't holding on necessarily too long on some of the words we're kind of coming off like that never that we just saw we say it then we're off and she's really just staying really still and honest to what the words are saying i still remember that girl. remember a little lean she's imperfect but she tries she is good but she lies that's nice she is hard she is broken but won't ask for help so we're a little bit breathy up there as well which is okay at this moment in time the song we i mean we repeat this part several times and it gets stronger each time as the story progresses as the emotion progresses so right now this is the stage of the story that we're in we kind of we're believing we're allowing what we are talking about, what we are singing about, we're kind of hearing it for the first time that we are that Jenna is talking like this. I'm saying we, because I want to be Jenna. <laughs> so we are hearing these words for the first time, and so is the singer. She's expressing her thoughts, and so it's kind of building up. Obviously, we don't want to show too much too soon. This whole chorus part, we are in our first passage for our higher voices, for our female identifying voices. We are in our first passage there. So everything has to we are kind of working like where is that balance do we want to put a little bit more chest in there a little bit more head voice right now we are keeping it really light we're including a little bit more of that breath like head voice which is where that falsetto kind of tone comes in um and allowing that flip she is messy but she's kind 
little bit more of a connected head voice there. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Oh, that was. That was so good. We are noticing a little bit of a pinch ha happening up in our noses to allow that mixing kind of quality to happen, a little bit of that twang to help us come back down. Sometimes it's so difficult to, once you hit a note, to actually keep in that bright part of our, uh, our placement and keep that anchored and supported as we go down, not allowing a sudden uh, flip to happen because maybe we didn't want that then. And yeah, Catherine is doing marvellous. A vowel shape on time as well, really leaning into that uh, uh, vowel. Just the same as that mine, even though we know that we're going to hear it a lot longer. In that moment, ma, uh, mine, ma, uh, 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 and really going to the end part of the diphthong later, rather than mine, ma, 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 what is she? <laughs> she is gone, but she used to be We are keeping that mouth shape on that uh, even as we riff back down. It's not what I asked for. Sometimes life just slips in through a back door and carves out a person and makes you believe it's all true. And now I've got you low notes go around like a B3 to an F sharp 3 right down at the bottom part of our range and they are so secure we don't feel like we're leaning for them adding too much pressure as I mentioned before they're just there go talk through the words because it does really help our chest voice doesn't have to be this loud voice or you know we don't want it to be too heavy we want it to be anchored and supported so that our high notes can spring freely but we always want to go back to our speaking voice because that's where our chest voice naturally lies you're not what i asked for oh. if i'm honest i know i would give it all I just need to go back otherwise I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> so this next part we hear a little bit of a different kind of uh, melody and we feel that building happening, the storytelling, everything is getting quite intense, like things are kind of coming uh, into realisation character-wise. Listen to how Catherine is hitting the word back and start over I think. We're on that B4 for the back so that's right in the middle of our first passage. We have to be blending the two. We could Depending on what kind of uh, voice quality you are, you could include a little bit more of a chest dominant mix there, depending what you want to go for as well. Then we hit a C sharp on that start over, which is in my head voice there. But if you want to increase that kind of a chest dominant mix, work on those resisting resistance exercises. Listen to how easy and effortless Catherine makes it seem. You're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over. On that start, we can really hear that lifted position. Start, start, hey, we've got that whine to it, that cry, it's so good. That's how we keep it light and we're not including that heaviness that we could bring up with us. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all Quickly, we say ending or two to go with our accent that we have. Ending, ending could get a little bit spread. Ending, we just are elongating our shape a little bit, making it a little bit narrower. For the girl that yeah. I knew was reckless, just enough. Who gets hurt? Who gets? We're still in this i kind of vowel. Eh. Depending on what kind of sing you are, you could happily sing an eh and it feels quite balanced. But here, we are really living in this if vowel just to make it a little bit, have a little bit more control so we're not um, 
getting a little bit shouty up on those top notes, but yeah, really lovely. Who gets hurt? But who learns how to chop it up when she's bruised and gets used by a man who can't love? And then she'll get stuck and be scared of the life that's inside her, growing stronger each day till it finally reminds her to fight just a little. I know the long note's coming up, but I wanna talk about what's happened. <laughs> we are using our body throughout this whole section. The arms are up here to get that anchoring muscle and support, all those muscles engaged. You know, as soon as we kind of forget to anchor and support a certain area of our voice, the throat comes into play, the jaw comes into play. Helpful, they want to be helpful, but in this scenario, they're just getting, gonna get in the way and we've got obstacles holding us back from that freedom that we want. The arms are up here on the word scared, I think it is. Let's watch that. Still. Stronger, you can hear that hey, hey, that whine coming back. A little bit of that annoying nay nay sounding. Obviously, the nay nays are an unfinished sound, but this is how we use it in a finished, polished performance. We can't hear any of that kind of annoying sound, but that twang is definitely there helping us to be light. Hey, till it finally, reminds her. finally, we're breaking it down. <laughs> that finally note is on a D sharp. Five. So we are coming towards the end of our first passage, about to enter our second, almost. So yeah, definitely mixing here, including a lot more of our head dominant mix, but we still have a very f balanced mix here. There's definitely some chest in here. So when you are working through that, and if you were, if you are someone that kind of, you know, really wants to get louder in that section, and by doing so, really ramming up our chest voice, when we work on that mix, on our balance, and start including a little bit of our head voice in, it might seem weaker at first, but that's fine. We are encouraging that behavior in order for it to not be 100% chest voice, and so maybe we want 50% or 60%, depending what you want. You know, that remains of 50, remainder of 40% will be head voice. So it will feel at first that it might be a little bit weaker, then we work on our resistance to grow that kind of, uh, that balance connection, that kind of more mixed belt that we want and it's so much more sustainable so much more healthier safer it's not a safe option it is a safe option because we can continue singing like that and it shouldn't feel painful and we are able to sing eight shows a week but it's not a safe option like oh it's not that at all it's so good <laughs> delicate we need to go a little bit delicate towards the end of that last one because storytelling wise everything's kind of coming back down really great we're definitely mixing in those uh two minds we're keeping that vowel uh sound which really helps us all those mum mum exercise bub bub exercises that i sometimes talk about that's that ah uh, mine we're in that vowel shape already always go back to your singing exercises and Start them in a comfortable vowel shape that you know and love in that area of your voice, and then slowly start shifting them to the vowel shape we do need. Obviously, a slight modification can help sometimes, but not too much. Um, ah, really lovely. We had a little bit of a risen shoulder happening. I am super guilty of this happening to me. I used to do it all the time. Whenever it was like a high note, this one was like, yeah. <laughs> that happens sometimes, and I would want to see if that can just be, you know, loosened rolled back let's see if we can hit that same note with that same feeling without kind of that lifting but sometimes it's a force of habit but yeah stand in front of the mirror notice what you do record yourself watch those recordings back as scary as that may seem notice what things you might do what habits you might kind of you know want to work on to see if we can eliminate those kind of movements she is messy going back to that but she's First quality we heard. 
kind of added in a W in that riff going up. That Ws are so lovely because they kind of connect back to our chest voice without getting too, we don't have to be in our chest voice to use a W obviously, but it kind of connects back down, has that anchor and support as we go up. So we modified the vowel ever so slightly to help us with that riff. Let's go back. Most of the time, she's all of this mixed up. And bathed in a beautiful pie. Coming back here, a little bit breathy at the end. She's gone, but she used to be mine. Nice. Really, really lovely at the end coming off of that diminuendo. Those sliding exercises will really help with that as well because even though I know here, or even just sticking on one note actually, like here, we're not going from fine. It's the one note that we are uh, including a diminuendo on. So practice on those one notes and that will really help with our mix as well. Really lovely to see that full circle as well. We kind of started in this uh, quite timid uh, area of our uh, character wise and our voice was kind of offering a little bit more of a breath like quality still connecting back to our chest voice really lovely at the bottom full circle we hit those high moments we hit that really vulnerable stage of just help <laughs> and then right at the end oh, it's such a beautiful song and, and a fabulous performance thank you so much for joining me and watching today's video lots of things to take on board so i won't put any more on you. If I said something during the video that you're kind of like really confused as to what I was talking about, do leave a comment down below or send me a message over on Instagram or email. I'll help out as best as I can. I also do offer one-to-one -one singing lessons if that's something you want to do. I, me being a musical theatre performer, that is something that I uh, generally specialise in. But if you're a pop singer, if you're a rock singer, I would love to talk to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell button and the thumbs up button and I shall see you very soon for another video. Bye!